Hello everyone, sorry for not uploading in ages, and thank you for doubling my subscriber counts between videos. So, this video is how to create real time snow in Blender. This isn't any fancy snow simulation or like these super highly detailed snow simulations. It's a quick way to create like snowy trails or footprints in Blender. We need to, we're going to use the dynamic paint because this is a very quick real time way. So I'm going to add a play. I'm going to press S5. It's going to be any object you want to be any snow covered object. So this will be the snow on top of the object. I'm going to press S5 to scale up my file so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to add lots of subdivision strings. I'm going to do right click subdivide to set the number of cups to 100. I'm going to right click and subdivide it again. And so I'm going to tab back into object mode. And I'm going to also press Shift A and add a UV sphere. And I'm going to press G and Z to move it up, press S to scale down. This will be what is displacing our snow. So this could be the footprints of someone animated in your scene, or maybe the tires of a car, or someone's ice skates, or a sled, or something. Um, yeah, this is what's going to be displacing the snow. We're going to use dynamic paint on this. So what we need to do is we need to go down to your physics property settings, down here, with the plane selected, and choose dynamic paint and set the type, keep the type on canvas, and click add canvas and then scroll down here, set the surface type to displace. Now click on the UV sphere, do the same thing, go down to physics settings and click on dynamic paint. And this time change the type to brush and click add brush. This is the basic setup, so now if we were to play the animation, press G to move around the sphere, you can see it's actively displacing the plane. It's doing it in quite a disruptive way. One easy trick to make it look better is to click on the plane and right click and click shade smooth. It's a very easy, cheap way to make it look better. As you can see. This is quite um, roughly disturbing the snow. Someone's shoes wouldn't look like this or a sledge. This is quite this is doing this quite roughly because it's just a sphere moving around at top speed. If I was to do this slowly, you see we've got a much gentler look, like it's being displaced by the snow. As I said, this isn't a super fancy simulation. This is a quick, easy way to get snow into your scene in Blender. So, what we can do now, this is this is the effect. If you wanted to, if you clicked on a video to wonder what the effect is, this is the effect. So now I'm going to show you how to bake this animation so it doesn't just reset itself every time. So first of all, we can anim we can animate this sphere so we can go to frame one with frame zero press i and add a location keyframe go to frame 50 click on the sphere press g to move it to another location press i again and choose location so now we can see that this is displacing between these two positions this is basically it's not working like it would be render engine so what we need to do is bake this animation so we click on our canvas go down up, Click on this cache here, then we can press Ctrl S to save our project because it won't allow you to bake it unless the project is saved. After a second after you've saved it, it will show up, and now you can bake your animation. So we bake the whole thing, and now you can see this is working as expected. This is now, the plane is just displacing, so we can move the plane away, and it'll still displace the way it did. We can even delete the UV sphere, and it will still displace the way it did because that's how the UV sphere was moving it. So this is how to get the snow animated. So if you want to do an invisible man type thing with the snow, or like like the scene of a third Harry Potter film where he was having the invisibility cloak and he was making footprints in the snow. That's how you can do this effect, which is a really simple effect. So yeah, this is how to do this effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Only a very small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So yeah, I hope this helped and I hope you have a good one. See ya.